A new downtown student housing facility opened its doors today, and as officials cut the ribbon at Twin River Commons, they shared their hopes about new opportunities for Binghamton. Travis Eldridge has more. Two, three. <laughs> the opening of Twin River Commons in downtown Binghamton is about more than just providing new student housing. It really symbolizes the commitment that all of our partners have in this community to keep moving the community forward. One by one. They believe in this community and they make that private investment. Politicians and dignitaries praised the work of the Newman Group, who developed and constructed the new building, a structure the city hopes not only houses students now, but shows them they can build a future here in Binghamton. We're going to have a lot of these young students who are, are going to want to stay here for uh, many years to come as a result of all the things that are happening in downtown. The building is expected to bring more than 370 student residents downtown, a move that is expected to have big economic impacts for the businesses in the area. But it's a move Mark Newman says would have never happened without Binghamton University's support. We consider the university really a, uh, a partner in this. They're a partner in the community. They've proven themselves time and time again. Dr. Stanger uh, and also uh, Dr. Drum at BCC seem very, very committed to the downtown area and the community as a whole and um, that was, that's really a driving force. The city and the community have a lot riding on that partnership. Uh, this is a great symbol of the progress that's moving forward here and uh, this is a great day for all of us. An 178,000 square foot building that the city hopes helps it turn the corner. In Binghamton, Travis Eldridge, Fox 40 News.